Welcome to another video. Today we're doing something a bit different. I wanted to just take you along for sort of the next few days, over the next week, show you what I get up to. I've got a few projects coming up that I'm working on. I'm planning to launch my website on Sunday. Lots going on. I just thought, why not take you with me and show you what I get up to in the week. Actually, the first thing that I can show you is this tapestry that I'm currently working on. It's for a friend of ours who has a tattoo shop called Goodbye Horses. So I'm making like a little logo tapestry for him. And I'm planning to have it done by Friday to Today is Wednesday. Ideally, I should be finishing this today. I'm working a 10 hour shift tomorrow and I know I shouldn't work on it after my shift when I come home at like half 11. So if I can finish it today, that would be absolutely amazing. This is the design that I mocked up for the tapestry. And you can see here the highlighted line is where I'm at currently. This whole bottom section here I worked on yesterday. I stayed up till half two in the morning, which is ridiculous and I do not recommend it. I made all of this up to where the goodbye starts and it took me about four hours i want to say this bit will probably take me like another six and obviously that doesn't even include like the designing of the tapestry as well which probably worked on it for like two hours i think overall this is probably going to take me like 12 hours to in total good morning it's the next day and i have finished the tapestry i stayed up until half one last night despite telling myself I would go to bed at midnight. At least I finished it. And she's looking gorgeous, looking cute. And I'm really happy I finished it. Otherwise this would have stressed me out today. I'm just about to head to work. Have I done my hair? Have I done my makeup? No, of course not. My hair has been up in a bun for the last two weeks, which is a sign that I need to go to the hairdresser. So I booked an appointment for Monday, which is exciting. I haven't had a haircut done in like three, four years. And it's, it's needed, it's needed. My website is meant to go live on Sunday. I still have to upload like 20 products to be for sale. I haven't written any descriptions for anything. I haven't set up shipping. So just making myself a nice little toasty. But yeah, there's still so much to do before I can actually launch the website, which means that I'm probably gonna have to stay up after work later to just try and get some bits done and just sort of the next couple of days. I keep telling myself once the website's live, it's all fine. Which which is probably not the case because if people do decide to buy stuff, which that's a whole point of the website, then next week is gonna be absolute mayhem. But we can't even think that far, one step at a time. That is a girl dinner if I've seen one. I feel like before work, I just think what's gonna give me the most energy, carbs and eggs for protein. Oh, do I get stamps on these? Yeah, yeah thank you. It's like 8.30 in the morning. And we're going to the gym. It's been a couple of days. I was working most of the time the last two days. I quit my office job earlier this year and I'm now back working in hospitality. The last time I did that was like COVID time, at least two years ago. I do not remember it being so hard. Like after my long shift on Thursday, I went to bed and I could not feel my legs, which sounds so dramatic, but it was awful. Anyways. What have I been up to since then? Yesterday I made some scrunchies, which was really fun. I wore the crochet one that I made to work and it was actually really wholesome because I was serving this table and another table called me over and they wanted some tap water. So I brought them the tap water. And then the guy was like, oh, is this a crochet like hair tie? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, did you make it? And I was like, yeah, I did. And then he was like, oh, my daughter, she crochets as well so she was sat with him so i kind of like just quickly told her how i did it and i went back did some other like things and then he waved me over again later on and he showed me a picture of this like octopus that his daughter made 
were just so cute. He was so proud. So that was a really wholesome interaction. I have work again at 12, but I finished at six, so not too bad. So making myself a little porridge. I'm probably gonna try and eat a little something else before work. The chefs are really nice. So if you ask them, they will make you some food on your break, which is amazing because the food is really nice, but also you don't have to worry about like buying a shitty meal deal at Tesco or something on your break. Oh yeah, this whole scrunchy situation as well is quite unfortunate because at the moment I absolutely hate my hair. I have decided to go quite short this time because I want all of this bottom bit gone. This is like the leftover from when I bleached my hair like a year ago. I used to just dye the bottom like orange or pink or whatever I had but essentially this is all that's left like these sections. I don't think you can even see it at the back like a little bit so it just looks a bit stupid really so i want that gone and also because my haircut is so bad i'm just gonna say to her that whatever needs to be cut off in order for her to make my hair even and nice again she can cut it that just means that i won't be able to actually wear scrunchies anymore so really slick my hair back i keep almost saying this mantra to myself that i will not be people pleasing the hairdresser i'm paying her for what i want that's what I'm telling myself anyway, so hopefully by the time I get there, it's manifested in my brain to actually ask for what I want. Before that, I'm gonna do a stop at Sainsbury's because I ordered this gingham bag that I saw on TikTok. And I have been wanting a new gingham bag anyways because I usually wear this one that I made myself, but it's got this huge blue stain. And this is the side that I wear out. I think it is time for me to get a new bag. My website launched yesterday, which is amazing. A few people have already placed an order. I've got some commissions come through. So I can't really believe that people are actually buying my things. Obviously, I made that website wanting that to be the case, but I think there was also this bit of doubt where I thought people you know, wouldn't be very interested. So that's really exciting. Um, so I'm gonna take my laptop and stuff with me. After the hairdressers, I can do some work before going to the gym and heading home. For inspo, I might show her this photo because I like how it's chin length, so it's really short and it's got a bit of layers. I also really like this one. Obviously, I'm gonna have it with a fringe, but the sort of swoop. And then again for like layers and just how short it is i really love this like this as well i love the texture which is obviously something i don't have at all at the moment also before when i cut my own hair this was my inspo for my haircut and obviously my hair does not look like that because i am not a professional from my city trip. I absolutely love this bag and I'm so glad I got it. Can you believe it was four pounds? On the photo, I thought it was gonna be like a thinner fabric. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really textured in like a proper solid bag. I love that I can wear it just on the shoulder, but I can also do like a crossbody moment. Before we talk about the hair, let me just show you what I got when I was in town. I went to Tiger and I got these cute little supplies. So we have some tags that I can write little thank you notes on when I send my orders out and just some tape. And I was hoping they'd have some nicer stickers, but these were the only nice ones that I could find. So I just got these for now, but the store was kind of empty and didn't have like amazing things. And they had a lot of Halloween stuff instead. So I think it's just like an awkward period at the moment where most of the stores taken up by like seasonal stuff. So maybe in like a few weeks time, have another look and see if they have some more like fun stickers. Then I also picked up these little clips for my hair. I got some similar ones at Primark 
earlier this summer but I lost all of them already so I reckon these will last me two months. Then I also needed to kill some time and I popped into TK Maxx which isn't a place I go very often or ever but I was having a look walking around and then I saw this scrunchie. It really does remind me of the good squish one. Sorry about that, my phone just died. Anyways, I got this scrunchie which is ironic because I just cut my hair. I will also be able to revise my scrunchie making methods because I can now use this as a template. So then let's talk about the hair. Um, I think I like it only when it's clipped back like I'm wearing here. The length is really cute. I'm happy that all the orange is gone and it's all nice and even. It's just the way that she cut it at the front, um, especially around here. It's giving mushroom. It's giving mushroom and not French girl, Emily main character, you know? It's giving Toad from Super Mario. I will show you this situation. So like this, cute. Like this, it's giving or buyers from strange things i just think she cut it too short here if that was longer yeah look you can already see if that was longer like here it would look much better the funny thing is i knew this would happen and i wouldn't be happy so i actually brought the clips with me to the appointment and i just after i left the salon went into like a shop and put the hair clips in and loved it so much more i ordered some hair clips of amazon these big ones including because i find that the little ones of these never hold so i got these really really big chunky ones i also got these star ones which i've wanted to get for a while i think these would be so cute to wear especially now that i can't wear my scrunchies anymore to sort of elevate an outfit yeah, they are quite cute. I feel like people wear them bundled together. I'm essentially gonna just experiment with wearing different clips until my front bits here have grown out more. It is seven in the morning and as you can see, I am sat at my knitting machine because I'm going to do a commission of my bow top uh, with the classic brown yarn. I'm having to do this quite early because after doing the commission, I want to film a video. Today I've decided to go to the beach. I want to make the most of it, so I want to try and get all my things done at home so I can take the train there. Because it's been such a busy week, I just wanted to take some time and actually like crochet or knit something. I want to make the crochet hood that I shared my free crochet patterns video. I try and avoid using my knitting machine so early or really late in the day because it is quite loud. And every time I go across, I cringe because I don't want to piss off the neighbors. This one didn't go as smoothly as I wanted to, but the body ready and the two bows. And this is basically what the top looks like when it's not seamed and it's just come straight off the machine. And it's actually crazy how much length you get from steaming the piece. Like it will go all the way down here. Same with the bows. I'm currently laying in bed just procrastinating because I don't know if I actually can be bothered to go to the beach. I know I really want to, I just wish I didn't have to travel there. I wish I could just teleport myself to the beach. It is a beautiful day out, like gorgeous. Now thinking whether I go to a park, which I've been wanting to go to for a while. Usually that park, I just kind of pass by when I go for my walks, but I've been wanting to actually go and like grab a coffee and sit and do some knitting. <coughs> but it is like a at least 30 to 40 minute walk if not 45 minute walk and by that time i might as well take the train to the beach so i'm just laying here contemplating my options really i just think i am just being lazy i also just think i should use my time today because i'm not working i have work tomorrow evening and all day saturday and sunday i want to say no i'm off sunday i find it quite hard to switch off and just do things for myself like the whole traveling to the beach doesn't seem productive enough for me, which is ridiculous because I'm going there to crochet something that I'll be wearing. And I did everything I needed to do this morning, so I should just enjoy the day. You know what, I'm just going to get ready and take the train. Even if I'm just there for a couple of hours, at least I went out. And I know as soon as I'm at the beach and I can see and smell the sea, I'll be so glad I went. It will be worth it.
so I just packed my bag but then I was just thinking let's just relax for today because I think I'm just getting stressed out I haven't spent a day just at home sat on the sofa doing some crocheting and watching some stuff and i think that's just what i'm gonna do today i much prefer going to the beach in the morning anyways it's currently already like almost 12 p.m and i like to get an early train and be there in the morning and grab myself a coffee there so it's just like the more i think about it it's just this trip would just be fueled with a stressful mindset i'm just gonna stay at home and be wholesome and crochet my hood which i'm really excited about and let's just do that let's just chill yesterday turned out to be such a weird day i started working on the crochet hood and then did some work on my laptop and i was so tired so i took my laptop to bed to work from there and obviously that never goes well and i fell asleep for like two hours but i think it was well needed today i have some more commissions to do in the morning i got a lot of my computer work done last night so i can really focus on just getting those commissions done which I had a really fun commission come through for a little bonnet and a matching top as well so i've just made the bonnet and i'm about to cast on the top as well but i just wanted to show how cute i haven't attached the top or anything yet but i think this might have to be like a thing that i made let me show you this is the progress on my hood oh. I have a bit more to go around sort of the neckline and then I'll start attaching the actual hood and the hood I'm going to do in like a blue tone so it's like contrasting. I think I'm going to stop the video here. I was hoping I could show you guys some more finished pieces but I think this is as much as I can show at this point. I have work tonight. I'm working all day tomorrow so not really a lot of exciting things are going to happen but i hope you sort of enjoyed this more casual almost vlog style content i might do another one of these in the future if some exciting things do pop up i am going to copenhagen in a couple of weeks so i might vlog some stuff there if that is of interest to people but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye